Hi everyone, I'm Joanne. Welcome to Work in Progress and welcome to my weekly Sunday Thrift Haul video. If you're watching this video on Sunday, I want to wish you all a very happy 4th of July. I hope you are having a wonderful long weekend with family and friends and getting some rest. I have some things to share with you that I picked up not only for myself but also for resale. And I have a question for you toward the end of the video about live sales that I would love to get your feedback on. And if you're new to my channel, uh, I do primarily thrift haul videos here. I've also been sprinkling in a few DIYs, trash to treasures, uh, thrift flips, that sort of thing. So if you do enjoy that, I would love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to hit that all notifications bell so YouTube will let you know whenever I post a new video. So with all of that said, let's go ahead and get started with the haul. The first thing that I picked up, I'm going to try to turn into a bird bath, bird feeder combination. And it's this piece right here, which I believe would have been for chips on the outside and dip in the center. So my plan is to put some water in this center dish here and then to fill bird seed around the outside of it and put it out on my deck for the birds. Um, what I'm hoping does not happen is that the two of them get mixed and it ends up being a big mess. But I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot and see how it does. I'm going to go ahead and leave the snowman in there. He doesn't bother me and I doubt he's going to bother the little birds. And because I do think this was a chip and dip uh, server, it's going to be food safe so I don't have to worry about it harming the birds. And it's quite a heavy piece. I paid $2.29 for it and luckily there's no nicks or anything in it. So fingers crossed that that works out well. Um, the next couple pieces I picked up because a couple of reasons. I love, love, love the graphics on these pieces and it was a whole set. So first we have the little sugar uh, holder. Perfect condition, no chips, no nicks. The paint is in beautiful condition. Um, that one is missing its sticker but some of the other pieces do have them. There's the little creamer. Isn't it just adorable? Sorry about that glare there, but just adorable. And these pieces were made in Korea. There is the sticker on the bottom. So we have the sugar, the creamer, and then we have four absolutely adorable little coffee mugs. So the, the motif is only on the one side, um, not on both. It doesn't go all the way around. But I absolutely loved the set, so I was very happy to pick those up, and hopefully somebody will like those in their own home. This is something that I've never seen before. Uh, I believe what it is is a wall rosary, and it needs just a little bit of work on it because some of the little uh, rings have come loose, but luckily they are in the bag, so I'm going to be able to do a repair on it. So here is the crucifix. I believe that is, let me get that better in focus. I believe that is brass. There's no markings on it or anything, so I can't tell where it was made. And then here are the beads that make up the rosary. So it's just a couple, here you can see, like these two on the end here have fallen off. But the rings, like I said, are in the bag, so I'm going to be able to repair that pretty quickly. But I thought that was kind of a unique find. Uh, let me see. For myself, I did get two packets of 10 lantern string lights. And they were $1.99 a piece. So I'll have 20 pretty little lanterns to put out around the railing on my deck on my um, in the back. Uh, oh, let me show you these next because they're sitting down here and I'm afraid I might forget about them. I picked these up at the flea market about a week, week and a half ago. I don't think I've shown you this one. What I'm doing is rebuilding my album collection, but I, I have Jackson Brown, uh, what is this? Late for the Sky. I remember him from my teen years. I took a chance on this Bee Gees because I had seen them in concert in probably late 
80s, early 90s, and they were phenomenal in concert. They really surprised me. I thought it was going to be really corny and all, but they were so good. So I picked up two years on, but the only song on this album that I actually did recognize was Lonely Days. I didn't recognize anything else on the album, but for $3, I thought that was a pretty good find. And Jackson Brown was $3 as well. Uh, Jesus Christ Superstar, which has brought back a lot, a lot of memories for me. Uh, this Rolling Stones Tattoo You, he had $9 marked on it, but I'm pretty certain that he gave this to me for $3. And then I got some Queen. Now, they don't have any jackets on them. Um, uh, actually, used to jacket records a long time ago. I don't know if I've told you that before, but just before I went into nursing school, I jacketed records. So I sat at this long table, and for hour after hour after hour, the, you would get the records in their sleeves, which is what this was called, and they were stacked up in front of you, and you, would, you had the album jackets on your lap. Uh, with the opening facing up and you pull off one by one these albums and put them into the jackets oh my goodness that was some really hard work uh, but i did find queen the works three dollars uh let me see scandal which is a rather unusual album i have to say that that was three dollars and then i found a freddie mercury as I learned uh, in the movie Bohemian Rhapsody that they did about Freddie and Queen, that he had broke off from Queen for a couple of years and, and went solo. So this is a Freddie Mercury album, and it is called Living On My Own. Uh, there's not much to show you because it's just, that's, it, it's just the sleeve. But I was very excited to get those all for $3, except for the Rolling Stone, like I said, was $6. I found some beautiful, beautiful wooden candlesticks, originally from World Market. It's a set of three of them for some chunky candles, because you can see how wide that is on the top. So we have a larger one, and then this middle one here in the back, and then we have a smaller one. So they're graduated sizes. The large one was $3.99. The middle was $2.99, and then the little baby one was $1.99, but I think they're just beautiful, beautiful. For my daughter, I found a Harry Potter 3D puzzle, and there it is. If you've been with me for a little bit, you know that she is pretty crazy about Harry Potter. Uh, I did not count these out in the store. There are 500 pieces, but I really have my fingers crossed that all of the pieces go are going to be there. And the next time that she comes to visit, hopefully we'll be able to get this started. But I think she'll like it. Uh, let me see. What can I show you next? Oh, let me show you this box. I paid uh, $3.99 for this box, and it must have been at another thrift store or a yard sale for $2, but there was just something about this box that I just think is beautiful. I love the wood on it, the shape, the chunky feet that it has, and the brass uh, fittings here on the corners, the latch. It's cedar wood. When you open it up, you can smell the cedar, and look at how pretty that is inside. It's just beautiful. It reminds me, now that I, I, I think about it, it reminds me of my parents' closet when I was growing up. My dad had lined the entire closet in cedar. And boy, when you pushed open those doors, you could really smell the cedar in there. So that does bring back some memories for me. But beautiful box, and I hope that somebody else is going to find it beautiful as well. I'm just trying to move my cups here. I found a brass piece, so I believe this is a heron, H-E-R-O-N. I think that's what it is. We have one that visits the lake out back here that I live on. So there's the mama feeding her baby, and that was $1.99, which I thought was a pretty decent price. The next thing I'm going to show you is something that I have never picked up before, but 
I like to try new things and, and just see. So it is, well, they were in a bag. I don't know where the bag is now. And I think I paid somewhere around $4 for this. So I cannot believe that these pieces were not chipped or nicked. But it's the the head to a doll. So this would be like the replace, replacement piece. Or if, if someone, does somebody still make dolls? I'm sure they do. Uh, this was made in Japan. So it's her head and, and her two arms here. And these are both stamped Japan on them. And then her legs with these beautiful boots. Let me get them straight here. There we go. Look at how pretty that is. So it has a Victorian. The boots have a Victorian look to me. And I could be wrong. Um, but I, I'm like I said, I'm trying something new here with this. So we'll see how that goes. And then for myself, I picked up for 99 cents this bag of thread. And the reason I got them is because there are several wooden spools in here. And I do have a collection of old uh, wooden spools. I think most of them that I have that are this size don't have the thread on them, but these do. So I'm going to be putting those in with my collection. Uh, let me see. What can I show you next? Uh, this box I'm going to hold off sharing with you until kind of the end because there's a lot to go through. Oops. I have this idea that I was going to swap out the glasses that I have in my cupboard now and do something a little different. So here is my little different that I'm doing. I've decided to go with mason jars for my glasses. Uh, so I've got four of these ball jars and it has a kind of a, I think you can make it out there a little bit, a raised fruit motif on them. These were 99 cents a piece. So as I said, I got four of those. And then I was fortunate enough to find the smaller ones that match with that same fruit motif on them. And these were 50 cents a piece. So I'm going to wash those up and start using these as my glasses now. And I know that these are a little bit on the big side, but I do, you know, when I drink water, I like ice water. So I'll put quite a bit of ice in here and then lemonade or tea as well. I thought they would, you know, big glass, that's fine with me. And plus it encouraged me to drink more. Um, let me think. That might be everything that I have to share with you. I think it is. Now, the last thing that I want to share with you, and I have to tell you that I recorded this video one time and I have no idea what I did. I messed it all up. The voice was just off. I have no idea what I did. So I had already opened up this bin here that I paid $3.99 for everything in here. So I've already seen what's in it. Um, but I want to share it with you again anyway. So this is a cabinet here, a small cabinet with all these drawers that are just full of buttons, all kinds of buttons. But one in particular that I want to show you because it's so, so pretty. And turns out that these aren't buttons at all. Originally, when I looked through this the first time, I thought these were two buttons and they matched, but they're not. It's actually, see, they have a clasp on them and they're mother of pearl. So I could see someone knitting a sweater or making a, you know, a bed jacket or something like that and use needing just a, a, a closure at the top of it here. And this would be absolutely perfect for it. They're so, so pretty. And I would bet you that that is brass on the back of it. There are just all kinds of buttons in here. You name it, uh, dark, white, black, metal, plastic. So this alone, I think, was worth the $3.99, but I was really happy to get everything else. There was a bag of all kinds of like bias tape. Let's see here. Seam binding, uh, lots of laces. So I'm not going to go through all of these because they're really, there was, there's an entire bag of them. Um, 
Now the best part, well, besides the buttons, because that was a pretty good, that was pretty good. But I think what was the absolute best part of this is down on the bottom was all of this, a couple of organza bags. Let me pull those out. Pull out some more of the an elastic, a lot of elastic, tons of elastic. Pull those out. And more buttons. Oh, look at these. These are people's. Oh, they're women's faces. Oh, my goodness. How cute are these? Hand-painted porcelain ceramic, 1988. How fun are those? Okay, now I've got to what I think is the best part of this. In the bottom of that was all of this lace. There is... And some of them are labeled, like this, I believe, was a Battenberg lace. Um, let me see. Whoops. Oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness. I mean, some of these pieces are just, I mean, just incredibly beautiful. So I don't know how. I am going to be reselling this because I know I won't use them, and I want them to go to homes that are going to love them, use them, display them. Um, here's more of that black Battenberg. Look at these pieces. Oh my goodness. I mean, they are just absolutely beautiful. There was a lot of ribbon in here. More of the Battenberg. And some of them have little tags on them too. Like this is, it says, uh, Shinelin, number 64 black oh it's not battenberg this is chantilly lace all that black i was showing you was actually chantilly lace but i do believe there is some battenberg in here because the first time i went through this i remember seeing a small tag for battenberg and look at that could you just see a wedding dress made with this lace oh my goodness and it it just it never ends these pieces were taken off of dresses or I don't know blouses because you can see the material on the back of them where they cut it off uh, let's see is this oh there's a tag this one is a cuff uh, I can't make out the, the the word it's a lace cuff maybe you can make it out I cannot make out that writing on there but here is the lace cuff oh my gosh Look at how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. Um, here's some white, the off white. Uh, oh, a couple more buttons. Drawn thread work. Now, that I have no idea what that that was not attached to anything, unfortunately, when I opened this up. And this, I could see this as a bridal veil. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. This piece sadly is damaged, but look at the butterflies on there. How beautiful. And there's the damage down there. Uh, there's some kind of like an off-white or creamy colored. Uh, this one looks like it has some staining on it. Oh, and some damage on that piece too. And here's another piece that looks like it had been cut off of something. But, oh, here, let me show you this one, too. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. This might be silk on the back. I think that's silk on the back of it. But absolutely beautiful, beautiful pieces of lace in the bottom of this. And this is, I mean, well, this is worth well over the $3.99 that I paid for it. Uh, let me see. What is this? Oh, there it is. There's another piece there. So I don't know how I am going to sell this. I, I guess I'm going to break it up into like lots or something like that. This is going to be a little bit different, difficult to figure this out. Um, but like I said, I do want this. Oh, look at this. I do want this to go to folks that are going to appreciate it and, and use it, whether it's in their 
their crafting or their just their displays um, or journaling. Oh my goodness. So all of this fantastic, wonderful lace. So of everything that I showed you today in this video, this lace and the buttons, because there are some beautiful vintage buttons in there, the buttons and the lace are going to be my absolute favorite. And I honestly think this lace may be one of the favorite things that I have found in a very, very long time. So let everybody know in the comment section down below what your favorite piece was or pieces uh, that I showed in this haul. And now for that question. Uh, for those of you that have been with me for a little while, I used to do live sales every Monday here on my channel at 7 p.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time, but because of my work schedule, I had to stop doing them. Uh, but I have been, I've done two in the past couple of months with uh, Beth over at uh, Carolina Princess Sweet Treats and Pretties. Uh, we've done 15 items a piece. So it was 30 items total. But my question is, would you guys be interested in live sales that only had maybe 15, 20, 25, probably at the most um, items in them? I don't know if that's a, such a short sale that it wouldn't, you know, because it would only run about half an hour, maybe 45 minutes total. I would be doing them solo, so I would be keeping track and everything. Like I used to have my friend Rhonda keep track for me, but these I would be doing all on my own. So are live sales that would have that few items even something that would be of interest to you? And I would keep them at Monday, um, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and they would be here on my channel. So go ahead and let me know if that's something that you might be interested um, in seeing and joining and participating in. So that is all that I have for you today. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you always uh, for watching. And as always, Please take very, very good care of yourselves, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.